let us look at proposition number 23 of book 6 of Euclid's Elements. The proposition says equiangular parallelograms have to one another the ratio compounded by the ratios of their sides. So basically we are given two parallelograms. We can always position them such that BC and CG are in, on a straight line and DC and CE are in a straight line. Okay. So what the proposition is saying is that the ratio of the parallelogram, that is area of the parallelograms are equal to the ratios compounded by the ratios of their sides. So basically compounding means taking the multiple of the ratios. Okay, let's see what we mean by that. So these two parallelograms are equiangular. So which means uh, these two angles are equal. So which means AC and CF are equiangular parallelograms and we know that we have placed them on a straight line BC and CG, which means DC and CE would also be on a straight line. And now we basically complete the parallelogram BG. And now starts the tricky part a little bit. We take an arbitrary magnitude. We take some magnitude. And we find the fourth proportional of BC, CG and K. So that BC is to CG equal to K is to L. Similarly now that we have L. Now what we do is again find the fourth proportional to BC, CE and L. So we have magnitudes such that BC is to CG equal to K is to L and BC is to CE as L is to M. And we take the compound of the ratios. So K is to M would be equal to what? K, K times L is to L times M. Now in our modern terminology, we are just basically uh, multiplying the numerator with by L and denominator by L. So the ratio still remains the same. So K is to M equal to K times L is to L times M. We know BC is to CG as AC is to CH. Remember one of the propositions we saw that figures on a straight line are proportional to their bases under the if they are under the same height. So here AC and CH are under the same height. So they are proportional to their bases. And here the bases are BC and CG. But we know BC is to CG is equal to K is to L. If we combine these two, what do we get? BC is to CG, BC is to CG. So that means AC is to CH is equal to K is to L or K is to L is equal to AC is to CH. Similarly, BC is to CE as CH is to CF. But BC is to CE is equal to L is to M. So that if we combine those two statements, we get L is to M is equal to CH is to CF. And we can combine these two statements as K is to L is to M is equal to AC is to CH is to CF. And we can take the ratio of K and M. So, K is to M is equal to C, uh, AC is to CF. But K is to M we have already seen is equal to K times L is to L times M. So, we can say AC is to CF is equal to K times L is to L times M. That is what we needed to prove that the equiangular parallelograms have to one another the ratio compounded by the ratios of their sides. 
So here AC is to CF. We are talking of parallelograms AC and parallelogram CF. And when we say is to CF, we are talking of area of AC is to area of CF. And the ratio of the areas would be equal to the bounding of the ratios of their sides. So here KL and KL and M are nothing but some multiples of BC, CG, BC and C. Again, let me remind you, there is a link to a PDF book which describes all these propositions in detail. Please feel free to download it, refer to it. And in case you feel somebody else can benefit from it, please do share it. That's it for now. Bye.